Hello, hello. I've been browsing Reddit the last couple of days and the most common complaint, or well, the most common question asked is how do I battleship? So I figured I'd make a vid or a commentary about how to battleship. Now, the only other battleship I had was a Montana and I figured that doesn't really translate much, uh, much for the new player. So I decided to buy myself a Congo since I always wanted to try the ship anyway. So yesterday I bought myself a brand new Conga. It's tier 5 and it's a fairly decent ship. Now like all battleships it's clumsy, but unlike the US battleships it at least has a bit of speed. The first thing you can see me do is I switch to AP shells, because we want to go for the penetration shots. Hitting the citadel, which is usually located below the smokestacks at the waterline, that's where you do your big critical damage. Most captains at this tire usually overuse HE shells. Now, HE shells have their purpose. If you fight the destroyer, they're the best choice. If you fight the battleship that's charging straight towards you or sailing straight away, once again, HE shells are quite good. If you're fighting a carrier and there's no cruisers around to help you or destroyers, then using HE will set him on fire, which uh, stops him from sending any planes or landing any planes. Obviously, good. But most of the time, you want to be using AP. It's your bread and butter damage. Now, the basic uh, utility skills, we have the repair. I use the number 2 repair, damage control 2. You can import, you can actually switch to this. Uh, you can select if you want to pay doubloons or if you want to pay gold. And I use the uh, gold one, or well, money, whatever it's called. So it costs 22.5k gold, which I think is well worth the cost for having a good game with the lesser cooldown. Then we have the heal. The repair party, so to say, and you have what many people misunderstand with the repair party is that it heals light damage. They often uh, they often uh, think it heals all damage, so they wonder why is it healing so much, why isn't it healing at all, blah 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 blah. But what they should be planning, what they should be thinking about is what kind of damage they took. If they took fire, flooding, any sort of light cruiser fire, that's when you should use it. If you take a torpedo and using it straight after, it will most likely not heal you much at all. Now, as for playing the battleship, you want to be fairly methodical. You have to be calm, patient, and you have to wait, and you have to plan ahead, most of all. You can see I'm sailing with my cruisers, and you can see me turning, uh, changing the angle of my ship every now and then. That's because if there is a Wiccas here, right now I just spotted them both there, so it means I'm safe from torpedoes. But also angling my ship enables, enables me to avoid shots better. For example, if this Congo decides to shoot me, the way I'm angled, I'll be quite a hard target to hit. Now Oma is going to dip into cover. This Congo is turning though, which means I will finally take my shot. I waited for him to turn to give me that sweet, sweet broadside. And now that I have the sweet, sweet broadside, this is when I fire. And there we have the Citadel hit. Heavy damage, penetration right into the engine room, and that's exactly why you use AP shells. Now, I'm about to hit the edge, and unlike most people, I dis heavily dislike the edge camping, so I will actually be turning away to avoid it. I just waited for his volley first, and then I will shoot one more AP round at him, see if I can go for the citadel. He's still turning towards me, so I need to aim below him a bit. This should be quite good. And then we turn. Some good penetrations, some good damage. Not the citadel we wanted, but uh, you can't get a citadel like every shot. Especially not with the dispersion on a battleship. No, I'm, there's no reason for me to turn fully around until my cannons have turned fully around. All I'm doing is, is exposing a big broadside while I'll gain nothing out of it. So I'm currently waiting for my cannons to turn before I turn the rest of my ship. This is a common you, problem you, or common mistake you see people do is they turn fully around and then they have to wait for the cannons, giving the enemy a larger target for absolutely no reason. So we will not be doing that. We'll calmly wait. Wait for our slow little cannons to reach the point where turning around is actually a, a good idea. This Congo is trying to slow down and take pop shots at me, but he shot his entire wall into the wall. See, he's panicking now. Mom's spaghetti, I guess. And now he's trying to stop. But 
I think if we shoot right there, he will sail forward enough for him to take some decent damage. Not the best, but I didn't dare to go for a citadel considering how high that cliff was. Might have missed my entire shot then, entirely. And considering how low he is, it's not like I'm in a hurry. Oh, he's backing. Oh dear. You never want to back as a battleship. Like, if he, should have, he sh if he would have stopped earlier and backed, then perhaps. But starting the back while you've already been exposed, and with a phoenix on your tail, uh, he's just very dead. Time to switch target. I have no interest in going for that one. The Omaha is our next target. This is a bit of an iffy shot to take, but it might turn out okay if I predict his speed correctly. Since you have a chance for Citadel from this angle as well. No Citadel, but a good penetration. Now this Tenryu is for some reason barely moving. He's getting a reason to move now though. Sorry buddy, but you have twice the mobility I have. If you don't get out of the way, you'll get pushed out of the way. Let's see now. He's faster now. Oh, I lost vision of him. Ooh, that was unfortunate. If you don't have a target, your dispersion is worse. So, yeah, that's what I thought. There's a Wickers on my left, but the Wickers has 4.5 km torpedo, so I'm not the least bit worried. The Tenry will kill him with ease. I'm turning slightly towards this Omaha to make myself a harder target to hit. This time, let's see if I can keep this guy as a target. I believe this should be a killing volley, but then again, I've said that before about battleships and been proven wrong, so... Yeah, he turned. Very clever. Now, chasing a cruiser is not something this ship is particularly good at. I'm gonna shoot one last volley and then I'm gonna turn to the left and help our guys in the west to deal with their opponent. I got two fires now, which means it's time for me to use my repair. This time I predicted his turn, so if he tries the same turn again, Problem solved, sir. then that's what happens. Thank you very much. See, you never want to repeat the same evasive maneuvers. Because if you do, well, someone is going to read it and you're going to pay for it. Now I'm giving a bit too much broadside, so I'm going to sail away from these. While still, you see the St. Louis is giving me a very nice broadside. And I am going to capitalize on this gift by once again going for the citadel with AP rounds. I did not get the citadel hit I was hoping for, but I did get a heavy penetration. Oh, I probably should have gone on the other side of the island, but I'm a bit greedy for damage right now. It would have been better to go around the other side of the island because I exposed myself to heavy additional damage by going this way. But I consider the trade-off for getting this kill to be worth it. Because I know he will die now. Oh well, he died to torpedoes. That's unfortunate. Now most of the damage I've taken this game so far has been from the Omaha and fires. So what I do is I'll hit my repair and ta-da! I'm almost back at full HP. Had I taken a torpedo and I used the repair, I would barely heal at all. Nice, someone softened up the Phoenix nicely for me so that I can do this. Oh, he's giving me a full broadside. No, 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 Phoenix. No, 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 no. Even if I don't get a Citadel, he just takes such massive damage that it's never worth it. Turning once again in case he's shot torpedoes. I have to remember which ships have them, which don't. This guy for sure has them. Here they come, as expected. And I, I'm out of range, so he cannot kill me. But if I had turned even a second later, the torpedoes would have been within my range and killed me. But as long as you know your ranges, you're fine. Now, I kind of wouldn't want to shoot this Phoenix because uh, I'd rather some cruiser would finish him off instead so I can use my volley at something better. 
I hope he finishes him up. Now I have to, I then I have to go for him simply because I have to save my carrier. I'm only gonna shoot one kind of though. Nice, someone else got him. Could, now I can help out with this other Phoenix instead. And there we have the Citadel. Enemy cruiser suck. That's why the cruiser and battleships have such great synergy. The battleship does the big heavy oomph damage and then the cruiser does the finishing job allowing the battleship to focus on other things. Now I'm giving a bit too much broadside, I need to turn. But the Phoenix is giving me such a perfect broadside that I wanted to go for this shot. Let's see now. He's coming towards me so I have to aim below him. Stabilize our crosshair. And that should be a quite a good Citadel hit. No Citadel. Heavy penetration but no Citadel. That's a shame. Oh, he turned away. Very clever. You can see I'm turning constantly away. Oh wow, this guy doesn't have much awareness. I'm turning constantly away to avoid... Oh dear, is this my ogre using HE? Oh no. No, 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 no. I used to repair on one HE, one fire, which was bad. I think he's going to turn to the left in a bit to avoid the cliff. I think he's turning now, so I'm firing predicting that turn. Not as well as I wanted. Uh, I'm abusing the edge right now, something which I dislike. I dislike other people doing it, so I wanna, I'm gonna turn away away from this edge as quick as possible. Because this is not something you should get used to. This is something they will fix. They have already stated that it's something they plan on fixing. So getting used to it will, will only come back to bite you. See, your Phoenix, the Phoenix thinks he's safe, so now he's turning. He's just turning to shoot. Haha, I made it out. And then, all of a sudden, a volley comes from nowhere. Oh, he's smart, he slowed down. Fair enough. Now I'm going far too much broadside. I wanted to finish the Phoenix, I was greedy. Play as I say, not as I do. I am taking much unnecessary damage by being so greedy. Luckily, I did not get citadel. I quite deserved to get citadel, considering the way I was sailing. But, okay, this is even worse. He has stopped with his citadel facing me. There's our confederate. Now I'm gonna slow down simply because this guy's a free kill. You never stop a battleship with like that. Like, that's just bad play all around. You never fully stop a battleship to begin with. Um, it's, they're so slow and clumsy to get moving. Just giving me an even better shot now. This is going to be painful, I believe. No, Citadel. Well, oh, isn't he a lucky little bastard? I'm careful to not turn too much. I don't want to give the other guys in the back there a perfect citadel. I'm already giving too much broadside, I think, but they're not really focusing on me. Their target selection is questionable. I believe this phoenix will turn fully. And if he does turn fully, I might be able to punish him. Mm, I think I overshot. Yes, I overshot. Oh well, it was worth the effort. Hmm. Now then, we have two, we have a Congo and a Mayogi. The Congo is by far the bigger threat. But the Mayogi is by far the lower HP target. I believe I will remove the Mayogi because he will turn. He will turn any second now. There we go, that's a predicted turn, come on. I'm constantly turning to avoid his volley, and I'm waiting for him to turn fully to the left. Come on, keep turning. I think this is as good of a broadside as we're going to get for him. It's worth going for it. That's how good it is. Once again, by being patient, we reap the rewards. Now I have to... A note, if you're zoomed in like this, you can hold down right mouse button 
look around, adjust your course, and then easily let go of right nose button, and you're right back where you were. Okay, this is what I believe is a good broadside. I just permanently destroyed one of his cannons, which for my Myoga is a rather big deal, because they in fact only have three turrets. So he has 33% reduced damage, and bam, he's gonna die to torpedoes. Very nicely done. Now then, since the Congo is engaged with the other guy, and moving fairly slowly, I will capitalize on that by going for the Fairly easy to hit Citadel from this angle. Well, easy and easy if I got his speed right. I think I underestimated it. He's actually moving full speed. Ooh, and he's moving towards the edge. Very well then. I got another much juicier target now. See, once again, the Phoenix. 5.5 kilometer torpedoes. Perfect safety for us. And he's giving... Mate, broadside. Come on, what's this? No, 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 no. You do not give me broadside. Why would you do this? Oh, I believe there's so many low tar cruisers that don't use AP, or battleships that don't use AP, so they think they can get away with just going full broadside for the maximum damage. But it's better to learn now than to learn later that you absolutely do not give full broadside to a battleship. At least one that knows where he's aiming for. And I like to claim that I at least have some idea of where to aim to get the best results. Now this game is very much won. Let's see if I can squeeze some more damage out of this game. I believe that is a quite a juicy volley. There we go. Now, he just shot, you saw his volley, so this is my chance to turn. You, you want to be turning and showing broadside only when the enemy is reloading. And now I know he's reloading, so now I'm turning. Oh yeah, two cannons left. Well, it doesn't matter at this point, because he's very much dead. He didn't adjust his course at all, whereas I adjusted mine completely and most of his volley missed. And there we have a double citadel to finish off, to hammer really in the lesson that you do not give your broadside to battleships. And if you're a battleship yourself, you always go for the broadside. Now I managed to carry our team quite well to this victory. I did a 132,000 damage, which I consider quite respectable at tier 5. So that was the battleship, which hopefully, I don't know, maybe taught you something, maybe perhaps. Maybe not, maybe it did, I don't know. That's me out, goodbye.